things there and then um and then if we're recording that's perfect I, then now we can un have the unveiling and have the live on the video <laughs> that'll be fun let me actually turn my videos this way yeah this is the very uh very first unboxing of a mini here yeah i want to get this a little tighter there it is there's my phone holder there we go we got unboxing of the mini right to get a, a proper there it is Swiss Army knife right here. Oof. So kids, don't try this at home. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Shabam. Look at that. Official unboxing of the mini. Live on video. For the kids at home. Right. See. This is the way of the future, people. Perfect. Nice and clean. A little more tape somewhere. That tape be. Oh, um, and it might just be the a big flap. Like, just got to pull the big flap out. And I'm seeing it's like a okay. You got the flap like right. there. Ah. Well done. Okay. Good. We have. The unveiling of the Optron Mini. Great. Get all the packing stuff out. Very carefully lifting out of here. Boom. It made it is it mini. It is, that is, that's awesome. And a cable. Woo. <laughs> all right, here it is. So it made it. I'm glad to see that. All right. Get a video for the people. You can see it now. Cool cable all right nice all righty cool so yeah getting started there's a couple of links i sent you to download there yep it's okay so get those down let me check real quick cool nice there you go um there's your email right there yep and you are there it is okay okay so i've got a link to download the Optron package and a link to download Max MSP. Yeah, that's right. And um, let's see, you might be able to share your screen and we'll we'd be able to see what you're. Oh, I see you're on the uh, you're on your phone, not the computer. That's totally that correct. Cool. Right. So I'll go ahead. I could do uh, computer next time. My whole setup here is a little bit as you'll see. It's like a crazy complex multi screen. Uh, it's a, it's like a that. studio plugged into there. Got it. There. Uh huh. Nice so, setup. The way I would do computer would be op to open this one's actually closed at all times. Uh huh. But that's where the web the web camera is technically on there. So I could uh, theoretically I could theoretically zoom from there actually. Oh, uh, it's um, totally fine. Yeah. We could, we, I can set that up for next time probably faster. Exactly. Well, I'd say like whatever machine that you happen to be working on, um, uh, we Share won't have to do that. It this time. But not only is share screen cool, but also um, if for some reason I needed to work on a feature remotely, like if you're like, yeah. can't do that? And like, I could go in and just like make a couple of tweaks to your software from here. Cool. Like that'd be yeah. super easy to do. Yeah, then we'll do, we'll do that. I'll, I'll do the call from, from the computer and just angle it and use that. We'll use that web camera. Cool, I'm excited. All right, so let's jump on those two things. I'm gonna go ahead and share screen as well. Um, so you can kind of see, but this is what that Max 8 page is going to look like. Yep. Okay. Got it. Should I do that first or should I do the Google Drive? Uh, Google Drive. And while that's down, because that's, uh, that's a few megabytes right there. Cool. It's like 13 items, right? Uh, there should be, it's like a zip file. It should have a lot of items in it. Let's see if it lets me but download it. One, one big zip file. Yeah, 233 megabytes. Mm -hmm. Cool. That'll be quick. That sounds great. It's actually already downloaded. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. Your internet connection's fast. It's like 450 uh, download speed. <laughs> nice. And then, okay, cool. Now I'm on the Max MSP. Yep. You'll download Max 818. Uh-huh. And version. let's... So click on what? The, the big green button? Yeah, big green button if you're, um, are you Windows or Mac? Mac, yeah, I'm a Mac, oh, Mac dude. nice, okay. Yeah, Mac's fun. 
that's what I use. Great. So that's downloading as well. Cool. Great. All right. So once so that's, that, that's that's coming down a little slower down the pipeline, but the other one's already down. Should I start opening that zip the Optron zip file? Yeah, go ahead and open up that Optron zip file and it's gonna look a little like a package here. I'm gonna um actually it's gonna look like this little Optron folder right here. And you're gonna drop this Optron folder into once you've opened up Max 8 for the first time you're going to see a folder automatically generate called max eight and then packages. You're going to drop that Optron folder right into packages. Maybe do something like that. Let's see. I'm trying to find out if I can put this on a stand or something. It's all good. That's uh, not bad. There yeah. we go. It means it's better than nothing. <laughs> just stare at my face. Just looking at my face as I click on things you can't see. So here we go. <laughs> here we go. So now, yeah, we get that. <clears throat> yeah. So I'd open up Max, the Max application first, and that's okay. Cool. How to generate all those folders where you need to drop that thing into. So that's that. Opening up the Max right now. Great. Yeah, and I'm actually curious. There's a couple of additional steps that I have on the installation guide that you kind of see up here that I'm not going to have us do right now because I'm sort of curious to see how necessary these other steps are. Gotcha. If we if we can just do this in two easy steps, that'd be great. So, um, but if so, there's any errors, then I'm going to have you close it out and do the other the other two two three items on the bottom. Cool. So I just copied the application. So I open it in applications now. Yep. Go ahead and open it up in applications. You'll kind of see a little uh, square shaped eight looking thing. Boom. This guy, right? Uh huh. Access your files in your documents folder. You're up. All right. So you got like the max is open here. It probably wants you to take a tour or whatever. It's uh, yep, it's right here. Okay. On my top perfect. screen. Yeah, I see it. Uh huh. All right, great. Um, and once it's all fully loaded, then we can drag that Optron into the Documents Max packages. Yeah. How do we know when it's done? Right now, it just says Welcome to Max Eight. Uh, does it got like a a couple of buttons like take the tour or whatever? You already know. Yeah. It? All right. It yeah. says, uh, welcome to Max 8. You want to see what's new? Not right now. Or sure, why not? Uh, not right now. Cool. I'll give and you a then, personal. Yeah, personal. And then I hear this. It says Max Console right here. All right. that's uh, You're good to go. So now that's generated all the folders that you need. So I'd go ahead and uh, quit that application because you got your folders now. i uh, quit this. Yep, quit Max. And um, take a look at my screen. Um, go ahead and... Uh, navigate to Documents, Max 8, and Packages. Documents, Max 8, Packages, yep. And click, hold, and drag the unzipped Optron folder into that. Okay, yep. Let me see. Go to Finder and get that real quick. That's unzipped. And then where's the other one I just had? There, so I got these there, that there, unzipped folder. And two packages. Okay. Great. And uh, right now, the paint's a bit wet on this new package I made. Um, I'm going to upload this directly to the Max MSP website. So you you will be this will be one of those things that you can actually from within Max MSP the application directly connect to the Cycling Seventy Four website and pull that package from their database. So that's in the process. So this is kind of a a little bit of a beta installation. Yep. Um, but it's going to work for our purposes. All right, so you got that now. So Yes, yeah, so I've got Optron in packages, yep. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and go open up Max one more time, and that's going to load those packages, that Optron package into Max. Go ahead. Gotcha, cool. Mm -hmm. So you should see this little Max thing start up. you got your console here. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I just double-clicked on Max, so it's... Uh... It's open. It is opening. There it is, right there. It's Max Console. 
Perfect. All right, follow along with me. Go to File and Show Package Manager. Um, in where? So under oh, File. Oh, in, the, in this. Okay, so File, Show yeah. Package Manager. Got it. Show Package Manager. And then there's going to be uh, kind of on the top, on the right by the search thing, there's like yep. the drop down called Remote Packages. Go ahead and click that and select Installed Packages. And you under, should see under under remote packages. Yeah, if click on remote and, and there will be and, a drop and then down click, click installed. Right there we go. Yeah, and then I see Optron. You see Optron, nice. Okay, yeah. great. So it's successfully installed. I think if you double click it, there's going to be some additional info here. It says yeah, show in file browser. Read me uh, ex extras. Read me and license. Great. Okay. Cool. All right. Now, um, so we confirmed it's been installed. So that's yep. great. Uh, the next thing to do is, so we can close this window out. Okay. And let's go to the, up on the top menu, go to extras. Yep. And there'll be a little sidebar called Optron at the bottom. Yep. And that says demos, but it's blotted out and that's all there is. All right, does it have this Optron app and basics and all this stuff? Oh, there's actually, there's two Optrons, okay. Yep. Oh, there's two Optrons. There's one There's one here, you see, that goes to demos, and then there's one below it that has all, all the other stuff that you're talking about. Oh, interesting. Okay, all right, so all this stuff, it looks like it's there. I need to figure out why it looks strange. Maybe if you, later after this, send me a screenshot of what that looks like, because it's hard for me to see from right here. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll bring it closer so you can see. Basically, all, all it is is that on this menu, let me let me actually bring it closer. See that? See, yeah, Optron is there. Uh huh. And then and then it's also the the proper one is here, which also has demos. Oh. But this higher cool. one is is it says Optron also twice, and mm -hmm. it has demos blotted out. So basically, that one's basically like a ghost. It's not really doing anything. That's and then here's ghost. here's the real one. Uh, weird. Okay, so I'm gonna look into why it's like might be listing it twice for you. Cool. But, uh, okay, so it looks like it, it's installed though. So yeah, either either way, we have the good one here as well. Exactly right. So cool. what I do now is grab your Optron Mini. Yep. Yeah. Uh, get the, the small USB, the USB micro. Yeah. Look for the USB micro port uh, on the end here and stick it stick it into the USB micro port. Yeah, cool. Let me actually get for the video's sake. Flip this back. Mm -hmm. All right. So here we go. We're going to look around this thing, so my green and we will discover mm -hmm. a USB micro port right there. All right. And a USB cable right here. I think this port is right on the circuit board there. Yeah. Yep. There it is, plugged in. Now the other end, go ahead and uh, plug that into a USB port on your computer. Yeah, now that's where I have the new Mac, so I need to quickly get one of those adapters I have. Uh, those adapters, yeah. Okay. Actually, you know what, I, it should be able to go right into, I have a, I have one of these here, let's see, let's see if this works. I have one of those things that's a multi. I usually like plugging in something like this into a non-multi, but I have, a, I have a powered multi, so it should work. Okay, sweet. Yep, I don't think I need the adapter. I'm gonna go right into this big multi here. Boom. I see lights. Okay, so yeah, you got like a purple light on the black board and a green light on the blue board. Right? We are now seeing the lights. We see lights. the lights. Yeah, lights. purple okay. and green. Purple and green. All right. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> nice. Next, uh, go ahead and follow along with me because we're gonna open up the uh, we're gonna open up the main demo here. So under Max, or sorry, if you're in the Max application, go to Extras. And uh, Optron drop down menu that works. Yeah, the one that we found, the good, the, good, the good one. Yeah, the good one, and go to Hello World. Hello World. And yeah, okay. should have a little something that looks like this, right? I do. Sweet. So, this is like the main 
home page for your for your mini all right it's got like all the stuff you're going to need to know how to start it up it's going to teach you all the little things it's got some cool out of the box demos as well awesome so let's get started on hooking up your mini so basically you got to uh, connect it to the the computer so in the blue optron connect there's a uh, one for your optron and pro and then there's another button for the mini go ahead and click that second button for your mini here okay um there it is it is reacting to my pressing so uh -huh. there we go okay cool now uh, this this thing came up great now um can i see what's going on in the max console actually i see some red in the so there's a window behind the application yeah right this there thing. yeah can you tell me what the red is saying yep it's saying serial specified port not available at the bottom it has a bunch of uh, new object and then MIDI high res, no such object multiple times. MIDI high res. Okay, so it might be missing. The package might be missing something I'm going to need to fix here, uh, but that's good to know. Okay. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah um, can you, also, if, you, if I'll bring it a little closer so you can see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about there, the MIDI high res. The serial thing isn't too big of an issue. Um, uh, what I'm kind of wondering about is if we maybe needed to have installed those other steps like i'm sort of i skipped over a couple of things that uh i i hope we don't need to do but it's, it's totally fine if we we have to um so anyways sure. let's try and get started so um if you click the button on the uptron mini app that says get started it's going to pull up a youtube video on how to get started okay. so uh, that was where we did i did a click here if you're opening optron mini where's the get started Oh, on that Optron mini app window, you got click hold, you're clicking on there. Uh, there's a button yep. on the top left says, uh, get yep. oh, there it is. Get started. Yep. Yeah. And so if you were to click that, that'd take you to a YouTube video of me walking there it through. Is. Yeah. And I'm going to show you how to use the Optron <laughs> All right. So you don't need two of me talking at you, but that's where, you know, if you need a review, this is a good yep. spot to do it. All right. Cool. Now let's go back to Max. Optron mini app and uh, you'll see numbers like query ports, set port, and turn on and off, one, two, and three. Yep, where's up, that at? Uh, up at the top of the Optron mini app window. Yep, I see one, two, and three, yep. All right, so number one, click that button that says query ports. The black one? Yep. Um, okay. And then click the drop down menu and you ought to see something that's like USB modem with some numbers. Yep. All right. Go ahead and select USB modem. And Got it. Then click the the three. Click the little X box that says turn on, off. There it is. Do you see little data streams percolating away? Yep. There's all kind of stuff going on here now. All right. Sweet. Welcome to the app. Um, <laughs> nice. So um, I'll it kind of explain what's going on. This so you got a six no eight green boxes, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. The green box on the top left that says line pot. Yes. I want you to press on the fretboard of your mini. I want you to just kind of touch that fretboard and drag your finger across. Does it, does that data sort of percolate with your finger dragging up and down? Oh yeah. I, re I was doing actually on the, look, okay, here we go. Yeah, there we go. I'm seeing yeah, things. Yeah, there you go. Color. So it's like, should be changing color of uh, some of the stuff in your your the line box here. Yeah, I can do like a little thing real quick too, or switch the camera back too, so you can kind of see both. Mm -hmm. Like I'll, we'll get we'll get, we'll get systemized where with the other computer next time, and we can really. Yeah, so good. It's changing the the colors on your um, on the Optron, right? Great. Yep. All right, nice. Cool, man. All right. The next button, uh, so then there's going to be a little gray button under the circuit board. And uh, yeah. that's yeah. Uh, if you press that with different degrees of force, um, the box on the top right. Yeah, FSR, right. FSR is coming up. Yeah. I'm pressing it. I'm pressing it harder. I'm holding it down, and now it's like up on the line. I let it go. Like, okay, cool. So it's just basically a, it's, it senses pressure. Yeah, it's a pressure sensitive button, basically. Awesome. All right. 
So basically, if you know you have your guitar, you, your fretboard would be your left hand, and the strumming would be your right. Gotcha. All right. So now, yeah, so this so this is like the strumming. Uh -huh. This is like, boom. Right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. Next up, uh, let's talk about these other boxes below. So you have a box that says AX, AY, and AZ. Yep. All right, that's your accelerometer. So I want you to like take your Optron and kind of like a steering wheel, move it, like kind of do like you're doing a car steering wheel. Yep, you can see those, you can see those graphs changing there, right? Exactly. So a the accelerometer X is uh, like wings on your on an airplane, and yep. if you tilt it this way and hold it, the AX will be in one direction, and then straight horizontal will be in the middle, and then if you tilt it the other direction, that data will be in the opposite. Uh, yeah. So that's AX. Okay. All right. Um, and then I want you to take a look at GX. So GX. Yeah, I see that. It, that's also going to wiggle when you wiggle the, the wings or like a car steering wheel, but it's yeah. a little bit different. This one, instead of reading like your tilt position, this one's yeah. actually reading the degree of acceleration on that axis. Got it. So when, you're, when you're moving, it'll, it'll register the direction and the magnitude of that movement. Got it. All right. So it's measuring, it's measuring the acceleration of the actual turning. Right. Versus the actual degree that I'm at, which is on the AX. That's right. Yeah, precisely. All right. Uh, yeah. The, so the if, you, if so, and, and so if you turn it like fast, GX goes off the wall, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah so that's how you can do like these really cool like motion controlled threshold that like events. Like so you can like trigger something if you like really throw the Optron in a particular direction. Got it. But if you're just wiggling around like a little bit, it's not going to do. Much. Yeah, GX does only does a little bit, but AX is doing a lot because it's changing it. Exactly. Yeah. AX is pretty useful if like you want to tie it to a, a slider and you want to hold, you want it to hold on that position while you're there. Mm. Right. So um, we'll, we'll do a few examples. Um, yeah, I got I to gotta try it out with sound too. Exactly. Yeah. And there's going to be a few demos where you could do that kind of stuff. All right. So AY is like the nose of an airplane going yep. up and down. Forward, so, forward now. Yeah. Yep. So the G is going to be the same thing. It's the speed of that. That's and A is right. going to be. The, so yeah. So there, now we're doing the Y direction versus the X direction. Exactly. So that's the Y axis here. Yep. And then the Z axis is a little different for the accelerometer versus the gyroscope. So the z-axis is gravity going straight down. So we, it's detecting one g, or negative one g here. And then if you tilt it upwards, uh, like horizontally, it's zero. And then if you tilt it upside down or invert it, then it's uh, one. Okay, I see that. All right. And then um, the gyros, the gyroscope z is kind of like you know those. Um, foam like gladiator boxing things so like or like you know your double bladed lightsaber like if you do this thing right or it's uh, like the orientation on a compass so if you put yeah. it it's flat and it's rotating got it all right yep sweet now um another little thingy uh is scale degree so yeah. um Scale degree is gonna be zero normally. It's kind of like a you know a air a woodwind like a recorder. So when you blow into it, like it's the when no fingers are on it, or like a guitar when no fingers are on it, plays the the open string. Right. So that's yeah. uh, this purple box scale degree zero. But if you put your finger like right on the edge of the the very end, the the far side of the tip the light will turn green and it'll say one, right? Okay, yep, it turn, it's, it's one now. All right, good, and if you slide up a little higher, it'll turn turquoise and two. Two, three. Higher's, yep, four, four five, five, six, six seven. seven. Yeah. And then it goes back to eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, uh, back to zero again. Yeah, yeah. Yep, so and that's it. 
So that corresponds with the, so that's basically- Is that, is that, is that the chromatic scale? Uh, that would be whatever scale you set it to. Okay. So if you set it to like major, minor, pentatonic, uh, those would be the degrees that would correspond with that. So you can set it to whatever key and whatever key you want. You can set it and then it's basically giving you uh, 11, I guess technically 12 slots total of Yeah, of exactly. Notes. Yep, and if you wanna change that, there's actually a little thing down below called num frets. And it's okay, like, so you can well, actually increase that or decrease that. You can increase and decrease it. And the trade-off is like the fewer frets you have, the bigger the target. The bigger, the bigger exactly, yep. Is gonna be able to hit, but yep. you can also increase the, the range that the thing can play. Yeah, if you increase it, then you'd have smaller area, but you'd have to just get really more accurate, but then you'd have more versatility. Exactly, yeah, so it's kind of like beginner, it's like training wheels versus as you advance and you're, you begin to really feel the nuances, then you can keep yep. dialing up the sensitivity. Boom. I'm like I'm like going nuts on this thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can you set it to like 99 if you want? It'd be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Probably keep it at 12 for now until we start getting used to it. Yeah, I think 12 is pretty good starting point. Um, now my LEDs, we're not going to change. That's how many LEDs are on the uh, the mini. Yep. All right. Um, now let's see. Um, we could do so the the current mode you're on right now is kind of like when you press your fingers scale sets optron hsv color so yep. i think if you were to like click that box this little box that says scale sets optron hsv color that's the thing that really that's enables the optron to reflect the color of the scale degree you're on to click click that yeah if you click it um so it's on uh normally by default but if you yeah if you click it to turn it on, but then un unclick it, you'll notice that the light turns off. I'll click it and then click it again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah light just, the yeah. light just went off, yeah. Yeah, light turns off and then back on. So if you want to also see a cool effect, uh, go ahead and turn that off and then click toggle the uh, the other square Xbox called toggle rainbow. Toggle rainbow, yep. Yeah, and if you do that, it'll do this cool little rainbow suite. Yeah, I just saw it now it's doing that, yep. All right, and this is just like a little pattern to like reassure you, like while um, you're setting it aside and you, you gotta walk away for it, from it for a bit. Like this just like is a little Knight Rider reassurance that like it's, it's on and it's doing its thing. You can see it in the reflection of the computer, right? Yeah, yeah, cool, it lives. <laughs> yes. Nice, all right, let's go ahead and uncheck it and let's see if our out of the box demos work. So, okay. so I, I put it back on regular color again. Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and do the, uh, the, the regular color. And let's go to our homepage here, the Hello World. Um, homepage. Yeah, it's the Hello World uh, Max Patch. Um, and if you yeah. ever close it out, you can always go to Extras, Optron, and Hello World. And it's Hello work. World. Which one's got Hello World again? Okay, it's uh, go to extras, Optron, and Hello World. And that might... Okay, back in uh, back at the top of that. Exactly. Yeah, at okay, the top. Got it. Got it. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Let's click the box. Uh, so we're gonna look at the orange bottom left quadrant, and there's gonna be a button that's called uh, "Click Here for Blaster Effect." I think what it is is I'm not seeing your share screen, so I was like following it. Ah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so where are you? Where are you getting orange. now? Now I'm back on scene. Yeah, look at the bottom left called Out of the Box Demos. It's the orange quadrant. And do click here for a blaster effect. Am I on the right uh, screen from what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, Out of the Box Demos, and then click on Better Blaster Effect. Cool. Yeah, Blaster Effect. So click that. And, and then, then, we got that, then we have that mini blaster right here. That's right, yep. Go ahead and click that speaker to turn your audio on. Boom. All right, it's blue. Mac, Max would access the microphone, yes. All yeah. right. Nice. And now what you want to do is press the little press the pressure button. Yep. Yeah, and if you press and hold, um it'll yep. if you press and hold it will sustain the blaster effect. 
if you, if you press hard, it does a big blaster effect, and if you press soft, it does a soft blaster effect. Damn, that's sick. Cool, right? <laughs> that, bro. So why don't you play with that for a quick second? Oh, also, um, if you disable the scale sets Optron HSV color in the mini app, uh, that might help a little bit as well. Disable, disable which one? Oh, on the Optron mini, if you do scale sets Optron HSV color, if you disable that real fast. That's what I got used to. Where's that? So, uh, that's down here. Yeah. Yeah, it's on the mini app. Click the toggle yep. box there. Yeah, and disable it. And now yep. do the blaster. So I'll let you play with that for a quick sec. I got a um, just a minute here. Yep. All right. <laughs> And these colors are sick. <laughs> So, uh, you want to become a Jedi Knight? <laughs> Sweet. And you've like pressed it and held it down through like some of the long, like really long ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think it's got that robot nature aesthetic. <laughs> and no question. All right. Uh, so we're done with that demo. Um, it's just like, hey, press this button and you get some effects. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, close that mini blaster window out. Yeah. And let's uh, become a Jedi Knight. So you'll click the that second button. Here's the next one. Now we're getting some lightsabers. Yeah, that's right. So um, step one, you want to turn up the volume. Where is that? Um, so in the mini lightsaber, um, do you see how it says turn up the oh, box? In there. It's like this little slider here. Yeah. Nice. All right. And then make sure the speaker is on. It looks like it is. And then um, you can choose what color lightsaber you have by this little scrolling. You can click this gray bar and scroll it side to side to choose what uh, the color. One, this, is that the one below it? Yeah, in in the box with the green HSV button. Okay, cool. Yeah. And I'm choosing a blue, a purple lightsaber. Oops. Nice. Excellent. Yeah, I like that. All right, and I'll go ahead and grab grab your uh, Optron by the handle here. There's like a little handle on the bottom. Yeah. Uh huh. And then just kind of like wave it around. So harder ones will, harder swipes will do a striking effect and slower ones will just kind of move it around a bit. <laughs> nice. 
All right. This is like the first virtual Zoom lightsaber duel here. If you strike me down, I will become more powerful than... <laughs> All right, so... All right. <laughs> so that's good times. All right, next is... Uh, so let's go ahead and close that one out. Yep. Uh, let's click the rock on. Rock on. Open. Can I be open by the very first? Okay, I, I gotta do the system preferences for that one, looks like. One second. That sure. one requires me to go system preferences. It's it's not liking that one. Sometimes that happens. Mm. Oh, yeah. So. It wants to bring up a uh, some kind of VST that's... Uh, yeah, yep. I said open anyway. So now let's see yeah. what happens. Right. Open let's anyway. Click rock on. Open. Right. Here we go. Hopefully we're getting somewhere. Up to a mini. Is that what this is right here? Basic instrument presentation? Yep. Uh, yep. It's the, um, yeah, let Oops, me look right here. Camera. Yep. Basic instrument. Yep. Camera's not on there. Oh, I'll just leave it here. Yeah. Basic yeah. instrument presentation. Yeah. Basic instrument, yep, that's right. And then uh, let's see, um, let's go ahead and make sure that the scale sets Optron HSV color on the mini app. Like, let's make sure that that's toggled on so that when you're- Back on, your, here we yeah, go. Yeah, let's put that back on, cause that's- uh, We can like just, change all the colors like that again. Yep. Yeah. All right. Now let's take a visit to that basic instrument window. You should see okay. a couple things at the top. You got your pressure. And you got fret under those Optron mini boxes. Yeah. All right. So your uh, fret is going to determine the scale degree that you're playing. And the button is going to trigger the note when you press it. Uh, this button's going to tr trigger. Yeah. So. It's kind of like a guitar where like your finger's gonna choose what fret you wanna play and then you're gonna press down the button to like actually trigger the the sound. So you put your you put this finger down first, then press this. That's right. So it's like a guitar where like you put your finger down on the fret and hold it. And then you and then you use your right hand to strum. So basically that right hand button is going to nice that right hand button is going to play whatever the left hand scale degree is at the right. time. Perfect. So I put this finger here then press this. Right. That's that note. Exactly. Now what's all the, what are all these extra things coming out these other sounds? Uh that's just like the the particular VST that's like selected for that so it's um because now i have my finger down and it's staying on that note even now i'm sliding my finger around yeah so um it basically will hold that note until you release it and then it'll play another note when you press it so this is like a very basic very basic instrument it's good for good for pads and stuff yeah it's good for pads or um if you want to click this uh it says click button above to change the sound Okay, yeah, click button above the chain of sound, yeah. Yeah, so click that, and that brings up the little VST window for the synthesizer that you're playing. There you go. And um, in the top under this, uh, there's like a little drop-down menu here. It says Atomo E-Piano, or um, I don't know what yours says, but there's like a little downward arrow you can choose. Yeah, it says Adam Sphere. It says Father and Mother, so there's two different ones you can pick. Uh, yeah, so let's do the presets. So... Under the, this, you know, under this, so you got your father, you got your mother, right? So I got like, you know, there's like Dream of Jungle, for example. Exactly. And yes. then I could change mother to, let's say, Moon March. Right. Let's see what happened. In a way, it doesn't sound any different. I don't know if that yeah, can... I think what you might be better off doing is, do you see this main box here under the crystal 
it's like under the crystal yep. box. So um, I think choosing this this drop down arrow would be better. Let me see which one you're looking at. Okay, so show me, show me again. Yeah, this this one right here. Click. Uh, oh, got it. Okay, so that's under that little arrow there. Okay, got it. Yeah. So like acid, like acid trumpet. Yeah, and sure. Now, now everything. <laughs> Nice. And uh, why don't we find the thing called Atmo E Piano? Is that one of the instruments? Yeah, it's one of the instruments. Look for Atmo E Piano. There's a ton of instruments in here. Okay, okay, let's see. There's a lot of instruments, yeah. Atmo E Piano. Where's that? Yeah, see, I that, wonder. That's a trumpet and pads. If, if you type what? letters in your keyboard, like just click on the drop down menu and then type ATM, it should bring it up. I think it's actually doing only one letter at a time, so it's jumping. Ah. But if uh what kind of sound is it? Because there's categories, there's ambience, granular, wave specific uh, motifs. Do you know where like is it, a, is it high or lower on the list? Yeah, let me let me look here. It's I see tempo sync, I see atomic, but that's not you know, I see pads and swirlies. Oh, I wonder, is this like something that only exists on my computer? That would be weird. Um, Possible. Granular, waves, uh, wave sequences. I have motifs. Oh, here it is. It's under vintage. Okay, let's see. Under vintage, let's see if I have and that. So I've got atmosphere, vintage. Okay, and then under vintage... Oh, there it is. It's like all blended in there. Atmo E piano. Yeah. Okay, got it. It's hard to see. Yeah. So I like that one. That's a good one to start off with. Right. Nice. So now that you have that selected. Um, take a look at this uh, scale degree thingy here. Do you see how this scale degree has like D sharp four mixolydian? Uh, that's on the uh, basic instrument. Is that in the same? Is that back in the old page? Uh, that's on the nope. That's the max the basic instrument thing that you opened up to get it to play the play like an instrument. The basic instrument. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see it here. Yeah, yeah. So there's like a little gray box that says scale degree, right? Yeah, it makes Lydian, so we can go change change the go to pentatonic stuff like that. Yep. Yeah, you can change the scale to whatever scale you want. Change the key or the tonic to whatever you want. And it uh, so that's basically lets you set your mode. And there's um, ways you can remotely uh, control and synchronize it. So you you know your band you can play with your band's uh, key changes basically. Cool. So why don't you set that to back to the D sharp four mixolydian and then click this button below that says open clocks by Coldplay and like play along with them. Yeah. Mixolydian. Yep, D sharp four mixolydian. If you're tired of reading about uh, other Jesus. people being oh, God. <laughs> yeah. market, this might be a good day for you. And you gotta skip past that. Nice. Turn the volume down on the uh, video. Yeah. yeah, now you can play with cold play along with cold play. <laughs> Thank you. 
I need to get used to that. I just, I think it's like a timing of when to put the finger down. Is it like right before? I get it at the same time. Uh, yeah, so you want to do the fret like right before you press this thing and you'll kind of get the timing down. So yeah, I would say do the fret a little bit before and then, and then hammer it on, at, hammer the button when it, you want the note to happen. Yeah, so what holding the button down does is it sustains the note and gives your left hand time to move to the next note that you want to play. Right. Yeah, and so with some practice, you'll get that dexterity down. Just feel feel natural after after a minute. Yep. What about and then then does this do any of these other dimensional things, or that for different more different sounds? Yeah, that's just the basic right now. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. Um, all right, cool. So, um, do you got any questions about the basic instrument? Oh, that's cool. I can start getting used to the spacing. Yeah, that's what it is. But it goes low there. It goes back to zero, probably. Yeah. And right now there's like, you know, because there's only a couple of- That's the, that's Optron, the 12. Yeah. And right now, because there's only a couple Optron players, like there's no known uh, kind of ideal fingering method. But what I like to do is I, li I like to, you know, use um, at least these three fingers yep. to like play passages. I think yep. the pinky is pretty useless, but the, these three fingers are pretty good. I'm rocking the pinky. You're rocking the pinky? All right. <laughs> I've been rocking the pinky the whole time, yeah. Nice. So we already got a, a couple of different schools of thought on the uh, ideal fingering methods. <laughs> That's great. There's going to, there's a, eventually there's going to be like a Optron me instrumental methods book. <laughs> Perfect. Technique. See how fast I can react. That's actually a pretty good reaction. Yeah, I mean, you can trigger maybe four notes a second, five. I think more. Six? Yes, more. Maybe eight notes a second, actually. Yeah, one to do. At least, yeah. Yep, cool. Okay. Yeah, I'll yeah. Test, I'll test it out with a metronome later. Yeah, that'd be actually, it'd be really good to know, like, how many notes a second you can play on that thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. And then you'll also notice that these colors, you know, uh, represent the different scale degrees. And so it's my hope to, like, make some uh, play by number things. Yeah. So you won't have to, like, be able to read musical notation to play some basic songs. Like I'll just do some colored dots in sequence. Use of the colors, yeah. Exactly. And you'll notice that like when you get to seven, it repeats. There it is, yep. So seven's the octave, zero and seven. All right. Yep. 
Right there. Yep. That's cool. It shows like the octave, and it shows the little the little red the red dot goes higher. Yeah. Yeah. And then back to the octave there because it's still zero again. Yeah, it uh, stays zero up top. Yeah. Cool. All right. Nice. Um, so another one thing we're doing. So this is you know very much still a you know a work in progress. Uh, we're adding a a, a a fretboard that's twice as long as this. Oh, nice. Awesome. Yeah. So you'll have twice the space soon. Yeah. That'd be nice. All right, so that's a basic instrument. Um, we got Very 10 cool. minutes left, so I think, you know, the next thing would be like play musical scales. Let's do that one. All right, cool. Here we go, musical scales comes up. Now I get this crazy patch generator. and Yeah, you got some patch generators. Now, actually, I'm curious to see what that max, um, the max MSP, the print window. So if you uh, press command M, for Max, it should bring up the little window, right? This little, okay, cool. Uh, let, me, let me show you. Let me get you on that. Yeah, because I'm actually wondering if we need to download some more stuff or... Here's what we're looking at here. Okay, what's the, um, the red? What does all the red stuff say? It says, it starts out with the no such object. Let's go to the bottom, yeah? Okay. Uh, text edit doesn't understand text. All right. Searching for passes from previous session. Uh, right. JS found zero one two. Uh, that's the red one, black one, white ones. All these red ones say text edit doesn't understand text. New object, music links, no such object. All right. Yeah, Up here, music links, no such object. Okay, music links isn't um, that bad. Um, yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll put that one in there. But, and okay. Error one writing cache info dot j s o n up there. Okay. And then over here is a bunch of stuff over here. New object, no such object. Really? I think that was at the beginning. That, that was at the beginning from earlier. Oh, I, remember when we first, I see. Okay. All right. Let's try. I think a little... this is the entire. This is the entire. This is actually the entire data log since we started. Ah. Okay. Great. All right. So I'd, say the, I'd say the newest stuffs at the bottom then. All right. Which would be you know found two, found one, found zero. All right. And then a couple of text that it doesn't understand text right there. All right. Sounds good. Here, let's do a little test. So in this uh, top left of that uh, patch you got um, called patch generator, there's a thing called input. Uh, a little... drop, there's a little drop down menu called input. Is that, does that show any? Is that I'm a... seeing, I'm clicking on this drop down menu. Oh, nothing's, and nothing's coming. coming up. All it right. It says clear last patch and clear all patches. All right, but there's no drop down menu that you see on my screen. I see an yeah, I see an arrow there, but I'm clicking on it and nothing's okay. coming down. Okay, so we might actually need to fix uh, a little thing. Um, okay. For like downloading the stuff, so there might be a couple extra steps. So I'm gonna need you to. Yeah, let's do it. Through. Okay. So let uh, me let me put let me keep the computer on or keep the camera on the computer here then. Yeah, let's see if this fixes it. So I'm going to put a link here, a link in the chat window. Oh, could you, you know what? It's in my phone again. Could you, do you, do you mind sending that to? Ah, yeah, I'll send it just, to just a quick, Just a quick email pop up right away. Yeah, I can do that. All right. Uh, I'll get that. I'll do the Zoom on the computer next time. Yeah, let's see. All right. Um, All right, just uh, I'm curious if this will fix it, and if it, if this doesn't fix it, then um, I might have forgotten something in the package, but I, I think cool. it's about to fix it. You're the very uh, first person to um, do this so far away. Like I've I've gone through this with Andrew, and uh, you know managed to get it working there, but you know it's always different when you're not in the same physical space. Okay, so I clicked on the link you just sent me, and so now I'm in this page that you can see on my screen. Nice. Yeah, go ahead and scroll down, and there's going to be a little thing that says Download Java. 
Okay, download Java virtual machine. Yeah, download Java. It says make sure Java is installed. The Especially direct for link. Windows user. Yeah, so install Java here. And it's got a couple of animated GIFs of what that would look like. So are you seeing my screen? So it's, I've got I've got Oracle JDK. Is that what we want? Yeah, and then there's a um, there's a little um, let's see. Yeah, it's called the. Um, actually, can we back up one? Yep. Okay. Uh, it's yeah above those. Okay. Okay. So straight up Java or Java itself. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that's where you want to go first. Java downloads. And, and then, then go down to Mac. I would assume go down to Mac and then just yeah, click it. Yeah, Mac OS ten. Mm -hmm. Boom. All right, that's downloading. So should I open that right away? Yeah, you can install Java. So I guess in the future I'll just have people walk through all the paces like we normally, like I have, you know, normally do. I was kind of hoping we could cut corners on the installation process, but it looks like you need you need the Java stuff. Cool. Install Java. Looks like that's happening. Nice. Java Oracle. Okay, close that. That's done. All right. Um, and then next, go to the download Java virtual machine, the JDK. Okay, so that's the one below it. Yeah, click on that direct link. Direct link, and then we've got JDK download. Yeah, and uh, it shows you um, what you should uh, so there's a little animated GIF. You click on the, uh, yeah, that's right. And go down and find Mac OS. Mac OS installer, boom. Yep. There we go. Right. And so this is kind of for the more advanced uh, tools, being able to use that patch generator. Yeah. Uh, so it seems like the out-of-the-box demos work fairly well. It's just if you want to extend the the applications, like you know, roll your own stuff, then then you need these extra little bits. Nice. Okay, it looks like that's technically downloaded and installed. Sweet. Now um, let's go ahead and quit Max. Go to Max and quit. Yep, Max, quit. Yep. Done. All right. And then let's open Max back up, and it should. Fire back uh, up. It I'm should. Throw Max up on my uh, on my dock here, so I have right. it for the future. Nice. There yeah, we go. You find it all. You won't have to do this ever again. Stick it on here next to Ableton Live and. Yeah, it's Logic. exactly where mine is at. Yeah. <laughs> I got Ableton Live and Logic now next to Max. Uh huh. Yep. It keeps all my doc organized based on music and other things. Exactly. Okay, so Max Console. And then earlier we went to extras. Uh, extras and then got Optron and opened the demos as well as Hello World. Hello World. Hello World is what we want. And then we're back here. We've got to play musical scales. Yeah. And let's see if we have a drop down this time. Oh, we got no errors now. Um, it's all green or we're all good. No red. No red, uh, but also still no drop down. Still no drop down menu. That's curious. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've got a drop down for Ionian for the major scales below that. That's working. Ah, uh, okay. You know, I'm gonna figure this bug out, and we'll cool. um, let me send you a fix over the course of this week, and then next time yeah, yeah. up, um, this will be all figured all right. out. But awesome. In the meantime, you can walk through that uh, that scale thing. Things should work. You just won't be able to um, roll your own custom stuff. So gotcha. Okay. So you should still be able to walk through um, all those all those things. So if you so click to open Water Scales video, click to open Intro video. Yep. And you you don't need to know. You know you you already know all this stuff. So you can feel free to watch. It's like the sound of music. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. The, oh, gotcha. the scale, Yeah, the scale thing. So what, 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 can we, what can we turn on? How do we turn on stuff on this window demo? All right. So to turn on uh, audio, um, yeah. there's 
uh, look at the bottom right of that that uh, intro to music elements and scales. There should be like a little power button looking thing, like a zero and a, a one, like the circle with the line in it for a power button. I'll share my screen. See. Yep. Uh, in this bottom left here, and then go ahead and click that, and it should turn blue. Where's your mouse? Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, Clicking where? Blue. Oh, on the on the actual entire corner. Yeah, on this, it should turn blue. Let me see here. Um, if it's not turning blue, then uh, you can always go up to options. Uh, up in the drop down menu, go to options and audio status. Options and audio status. Yeah, and this is gonna look a lot like the audio preferences in Ableton. Yeah, like audio MIDI. Exactly, so go ahead and click that power button in the top left. Boom, I clicked it. It's on the audio engine, yeah. It's okay. Uh, now you can get rid of that and um, yeah, so basically um, on this window, this kind of tells you the relationship of scale steps with the numbers zero through seven. Yeah, so are you, you're down here, it says do, do, re, mi, fa, yeah. sol, do. And just go ahead and click, uh, select any of those in the drop down menu. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, cool. Now, um, if you click on the number box here, and you yep. do the arrows up and down. You can... Right. All right. All right. So the next, let's go to the next little section where you see this uh, button with a counter. Yep. And go ahead and just click that button. The top one, the little circle? Yeah, and keep clicking it. All right. So, and then scroll down and you'll see this box with a, a little toggle box with, to a Metro object. I see an X above it. That's right, the little X. Yeah, click on that X. That's what we call a toggle. Yeah. All right. And now you can uh, click, hold, and drag that number box to the right of it. That's the speed? Yeah, that's the speed in milliseconds. And you can disable it by clicking that toggle box again. Boom. Okay. All right, uh, this other one shows you random. So basically, if you click the toggle, it's gonna send these bangs at that rate of 250 milliseconds to a random, a random box, random object. Yeah, it's pretty random. All right, um, and then finally, uh, below here, you can click the toggle box and that will let you drag your finger along the fret to choose uh oh you actually have to connect your optron mini app don't you because we reset max oh okay uh, how do we do that again uh so under the hello world you can uh choose the optron mini uh application or you can go to extras optron and then the optron mini app i think i gotta remember this hello world thing still where where's hello world it's under extras and optron so there's a oh, couple ways to get to it. It might actually be more direct if you go to Extras, Optron, and then just choose Optron Mini App. Okay. Do you remember how to connect? I did Optron Mini App, but I don't see it coming up this time. Mm. Is that what this is, this colorful thing? Uh, it should be this the thing with the eight green boxes. Okay, yeah, I'm in that. Nice. Uh, do and you I just get, I get, I get, get start. I don't know. That's your video earlier. Um, okay, great. We just, we had to do the query porch, press one on that. Uh huh. And then we did two and we set that to the USB modem. 
That's right. And then we did three, we just did turn on, off, and then we're in. Yeah, you're in, nice, great. Now, if you, uh, if you. Okay, now it's working. Yeah. So let's go back to this piano over here. So now, yeah, this is where we just turned on the, uh, the piano, right? Right, exactly. So basically, it's reading the fret data from the mini, and it's just going into the scale degree object, and it's playing a MIDI pitch uh, that's translating your scale degree into that scale. Gotcha. What I've noticed is that I press something, if I let go, it plays the, the root note. Ah, uh, yeah. I think it's because uh, down below, so if you scroll down a little lower. Yeah. Um, we have one more little thing here that's, um, so we took it a step further. So the, this first one, we just have the fretboard triggering the notes, but you can't really play it like an instrument very well. Right. Right? So I'm gonna dis disable that. Right. So I'm gonna disable, gonna go ahead and disable that checkbox again and scroll Where's that? to the bottom. So this Which, thing right here by the mini and the fret. The one that says Optron Mini right there? Yeah. I, okay. I turned it That's off. That's off again. That's off again. So there's no sound, but I have color. Right. And go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. And All the way to the bottom, yep. Okay. And now here we have a few objects. We got our Optron Mini with the pressure selected. Yep. And then we have the Optron Mini with the fret selected. Fret selected, yep. Select. All right, the one with pressure is going to a threshold object. Got it. And so now it's, pressure... it's sensing, so right now it's sensing, it's sensing barely any pressure. And yeah. then if I press it, it's sensing, you can see it's sensing all the way from between zero and one. Yeah, that's right. And if it crosses 0.5, then it's going to, it's going to uh, trigger that note. Yeah, so I'm looking, seeing, yeah, I'll go to point 0.2, point 0.3, and point 0.5, boom. Yep, that's right. So you can change the action on the Optron button if you want to set the point 0.5 to like point 0.2. Exactly, that'll make it easier to press. Exactly, yeah, yeah. All right. And then the fret, basically the, the fret data is getting stored in this little eye, this little eye box in the right inlet. And then this button here, the bang in the left inlet is, um, so this, I'm gonna unlock this patch here so you can kind of see. So this, this thing here is what's gluing yep. them together. So we got the fret data coming into here and is yep. being saved. Yes. And then this thing is going to actually send the, it's gonna send that data. Gotcha. <laughs> But instead of clicking that button with the mouse, we're sensing the pressure. Yep. Right? So you can't play two notes at the same time with this yet, right? Not yet, but we can totally get there. Yep. Because earlier on the other one, it was actually on the one above that was going crazy. It was actually sensing two notes, three notes. It was a lot, yeah, you could actually detect a bunch of them. So yeah, we can, um, we'll but it was also kind of chaotic actually. a little bit. What's that? But it was also acting crazy. Yeah, it was acting super crazy, yeah. So there's ways that you can, uh, yeah, get it that's, to play That's this one notes. here. Now this is the one where I'm noticing if I let go, it plays the root note. Right, yeah, because it's, um, it's still, sensing the one on the bottom as well yeah down here uh-huh oh yeah down yeah. the bottom bottom right and how would you you would just you would just take that off uh you could uh yeah if you wanted to disable this one uh, i didn't actually put an option to disable this one in this tutorial here yeah all good but if you wanted to you could um unlock the patch so on the very bottom left there's like this uh, lock box. Yeah. Uh, and if you press it, it will unlock the patch. And then you can click the little patch cord that's got the bang, this uh, little button here. Yeah. You could select it and hit delete. 
and that will disconnect the uh, that disconnects that thing. So if you press it, that message isn't going to get to that integer box, the I box. Um, how do you reconnect it, by the way? Uh, so you can click the outlet here, and that yep. gives you a little wiggly patch cord. Oh, perfect. Perfect. And then you click the the destination. Boom. Yeah. Got it. Yep. Great. Cool. Very cool. Man. You, can just make, you can just make patch cables. Yeah. But I noticed it's still it's still playing the root note. Even after unhooking it. Even if you're unhooking it, really? That's interesting. It's, un I wonder if it's unhooked now. That wire's out. I wonder I if do is also, I, maybe I'll take out the other the pressure wire. Yep, I took out both wires. It's still still doing it, huh? Interesting. I wonder if there's uh, something else hooked up that's like playing it. That's uh yeah. It's it's like essentially it's it's playing on the zero. You know what I mean? Like so. Yeah. If you get to something, that's the chord. Yeah. And then the nothing, the nothing is playing the root note. What some, yeah. so somewhere in there there's a zero triggering the root. Oh, weird. Yeah, I would have to take a look at your maybe next time we can share screen and I'll see where that Yeah, we do the share that. screen which I got. I'm just I'm just kind of getting into the Yeah. All right. Cool stuff. Yeah, so now I got an assignment for you for next week. Okay? All right. So, if you would oblige going through the basics overview patches uh, on your own and you just let me know where you get stuck um, okay. you're gonna know kung fu like by by the time we we meet up next week perfect you know, you know the op basics of overview so where, where where is that at it's uh so if you go to extras optron and hello world yeah then okay every... so basically just all the basics tutorials all those yep go go through them in sequence and um that let me know if you get stuck um cool. but yeah if you if you do that sometime over the course of this next week and we meet up uh you're gonna know all the stuff awesome all right sweet we'll do i'll take Bye. some little videos too along the way nice yeah that would be exciting i really appreciate that that's like the fun part for me is just shooting little videos i'm like oh here we go you know all right yeah yeah cool man great yeah maybe you can teach me a thing or two for the uh optron technique <laughs> uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm sure i'll figure out you know some weird way that i'm playing it that's weird i always end up playing instruments in this weird way that you're like what <laughs> you play, i don't know I, I, play, cool, man. I play guitar weird like one finger and stuff i don't know i, I play everything kind of weird nice that's that's pretty pretty yeah i'm looking forward to it i'm really excited about this uh i got you know, more things happening with the, the latest uh, main Optron as well that I'm super excited about. So I love that it has a strap. On. Yeah, but like, cool thing is, once you learn the mini, like this, this is going to be way easy to pick up because it, it's mostly the same thing minus the, the motion sensor stuff. Totally. This, this is great to learn on, you know, just to get the idea. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm like I'm like scared to break it. I don't like. Is it, it's pretty stable, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty stable. I wouldn't worry about breaking it. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna do anything yeah. stupid. But I'm just like I'm like ah, oh, the circuit board's open, and then like I don't wanna like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's got kind of a maker feel to it. Uh, we yeah, even yeah. had um, yeah some our our partners at Cymaspace, uh, deaf and hard of hearing musicians. Uh, those, those they they actually helped assemble these. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, but uh, don't don't worry about breaking them. Um, it's uh, no, no. It seems it seems pretty strong. I, like I was holding it, felt strong. I was like, when you were making me do the lights, and everything. I was like, you're like, do it fast. I was like, oh, no, no, I'm scared. <laughs> it's, right. It seems so small. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, I think don't don't, don't fall apart, little toy. Yeah, right. I think you know someday you know after a Kickstarter or two, like, and we like you know get these things starting to look like real you know all silicone molded and stuff um that you know like they're not you're not going to be afraid to like really smack something with it uh, i think that that's that'd be a great place yeah. to go yeah that's the way to go i mean it'd be cool to have like even like more handle type things on so it feels like you know because like when you do that lightsaber if it, you know it almost feels like a handle already yeah but it'd be cool right. to like maybe like get something design wise that that like maybe like something like like curves 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 out a little bit and fits the hand a little bit oh yeah yeah you know what i'm saying like so the, it feels it feels like a handle yeah like the uh, count dooku's uh, lightsaber it's got like that ergonomic yep. handle on the end yeah 
I know. And then just about. other and other and just I'm thinking of other ways to like make it feel, you know, like comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, we'll figure out. We're just thinking of some some basic simple design things, you know, like little. If it's like a little thicker, like around here, for example, I feel like that would fit the hand nicely. Like if it had like just like right here, if it was like uh -huh. slightly thicker, like it would fit the palm. Yeah. You know, that that kind of stuff. Like little little, little simple simple design ideas. Exactly. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I, you know, this next version is going to have uh, various 3D printed components and stuff like that on there. So great. Uh, we we should be able to me mess around with dimensions and, and yep. feel like that. That's totally. great. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. All right. Well, uh, Deepak, it's been a pleasure catching up with you this week, and uh, um, we'll do it again next week. Good start, Andrew. How you doing, man? Out there. All right. Yeah. Wiggling my toes. Things are good. Good to see you. What you, what you been up to? Um, my parents have both had hip replacement surgeries. Oh, uh, wow. so I've been doing a lot of, yeah, I've been doing a lot of caretaking, um, working with Chet, and then there's a unpublished novel I've been editing that I wrote. So, nice. Yeah, caretaking and books. Yeah. Nice. Excellent. Good, good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Are you in Santa Monica right now? No, I'm in Colorado. That's where my mom lives. Mm -hmm. Oh, gotcha. Okay, you're out there. Sweet. Yeah, it'd be good to have you back up here, Andrew. Yeah, hopefully getting there this week. <laughs> and where are you again? You're in Oregon, Chet? Yeah, I'm in Oregon, uh, just north of Eugene a bit. So yeah, South I've been Portland. to Eugene a lot. Oh yeah, nice. Uh, yeah. Do you do y'all pass through for like gigs and stuff? Uh, I mean, like, there's like a lot of different scenes I'm in. So like, there was some time I spent like traveling up there, doing a lot of like the yoga music scene. Okay. Um, so I'm friends with. Do you know Jay Lakshmi and Ananda? No, I don't. Um, do you know they're, Connor they're... O'Sullivan, Medium Troy out here? I'm not sure. Okay, I've done some work with Connor O'Sullivan. He's like a DJ, like turntablist cool. kind of guy. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like some friends in Eugene where we'd come up through there and do like you know, and then end up in uh, at this beloved festival up in uh, it's like a, in, I think it's in near Portland, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So just back in the, the hippie, the, all the more hippie ish stuff, like the like hippie festivals. Yeah. Like rainbow gatherings and like we're out, we're out in Ashland, Oregon too, like yes. in the, in the lakes of Ashland and the woods, uh -huh. everyone dancing around with their hula hoops and I'm just on stage playing hippie music. You know, there's, it's a whole nother world. Dude, that's fantastic. Yeah. Like I a lot of the Bernie, lot of Bernie man type friends, you know, I'm in, I'm in a lot of different circles. So like, that's like more my hippie burner, burner circle. That's fantastic. Yeah. Have you uh, ever played a country fair? I haven't, but I've, okay. I've always been. I've always been hearing how amazing the Oregon Country Fair is. Oh, it's massive! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. That'd be a good thing for me and my fiddle. Just come up there and start fiddling. Hell yeah, yeah! It, it, uh, it, that scene um, at night, especially, is great for things like Optron too. Like it's uh... damn <laughs> totally, especially the you know, yeah, that'd be cool. The lights and at night. I think this thing oh. in, in general at night is going to be amazing. Yeah, yeah, excellent. That's oh, great. Well, if you, um, I don't know whenever you got plans to swing up here again, but let me know whenever you're in town. For sure. It's cool. been a while. Yeah, I have no plans at the moment, but I mean, if, if, if a gig's, I'll, I'll go anywhere for a gig, so. <laughs> exactly. All right. Excellent. You find a gig, I'll be there. Excellent. Yeah, I've got to find an excuse to bring you up to Eugene and Portland again. That'd be really great. Let's do it. Let's, we'll figure something out. Cool, man. All first, right. First, you must master Optron. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Wax on, wax off. All wax right. on, wax off. All right, brother. Appreciate you. I'll, I'll get through these tutorials in the next week, and then we'll, and then we'll sort out next week. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. And uh, oh, for the for those basic tutorials, just remember to turn off the um, scale sets Optron HSV color thing on the on the mini app. Okay. Is that 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 will interfere with uh, the the basic light tutorials. Um, Got it. Yeah. Take off right. that. Yep, no problem. All right, cool. Catch Sounds you later, good. man. I'll talk catch to you soon. It's always good to see you. Uh, we're and, and uh, catch up later this week. All right. Cool. We'll do. All right, later. Rock on, guys. Rock on.